a very short video about how not to damage your mp3 player. I've damaged this MP mp3 player yesterday and here is another mp3 player, in fact it's a handy. Uh, both circuit have, circuits have the same problem that you don't know how the output, the uh, earphone output, is connected. Whether uh, it is uh, well done to connect the ground here to the ground from your audio amplifier. Could be an end amplifier or this pre-amplifier. Um, and in fact to safeguard your circuit, safeguard your handy uh, and your mp3 player you need a, a galvanic separation or a resistive separation. In this video uh, I want to show the galvanic separation, output from the mp3 player, one microfarad cap here, right channel, one microfarad cap, left channel, two potentiometers and the ground is connected to the ground from your end amplifier or the pre-amplifier. With the potentiometer you can set the volume. Another way to separate and uh, prohibit a disturbing too high currents that damages the player is resistor separation. The resistor here, right and left channel, can be between 27 ohms and approximately 5000 ohms. It cannot be predicted, it depends completely on the player that you have, so you have to do some experiments. This is the best way, in my opinion, and in this video I've used here a 22k potentiometer. I want to demonstrate that now, 22k here, one microfarad cap, put on the music, the high frequencies Sorry, the low, the low frequencies are amplified much more because this is the circuit that I've published today, uh, the loudness circuit that, that I've published today. So, um, to prevent your player from being damaged, use a capacitor to separate the output, the audio output, to your audio amplifier. Align the volume with a potentiometer or take two resistors here to prevent high currents to flow into the player.